Because weeds have outsmarted Monsanto, they are now resistant to Roundup. Thousands, millions of more pounds, half a billion pounds more Roundup was used on GMOs because of, was used because of the Roundup Ready crops. So there's 15 times the amount of glyphosate being used now compared to before GMOs were introduced. And one of the things that the biotech industry had bragged about, this was Monsanto's Roundup product, they bragged that glyphosate, their chief poison in Roundup, blocks the shikimate pathway to kill plants. And because humans don't have the shikimate pathway, it's not toxic to humans. Don't believe them. It's a, chief call, it's a chief tool for suicide in some Asian countries. Please don't drink Roundup. But they would say it's drinkable. They'd say it's safer than table salt. Well, it turns out the shikimate pathway is used by humans in our gut bacteria. The bacteria use the shikimate pathway to produce the precursors to serotonin, melatonin, and dopamine, which are absolutely critical. And if we don't have enough of these neurotransmitters, there are several diseases, anxiety, depression, etc., that can occur. Dr. Hyla Cass, author of 10 books, was one of the speakers at our conference. And she described the difference between low serotonin depression, anxious and agitated, versus low dopamine depression, lack of motivation. But what I, I was really impressed about was how she was able to identify certain behaviors and link them directly to nutrient deficiency. How if you don't have enough serotonin, she said there's a lot of ladies that she treats, they are binging on food at night, eating ice cream, and they can't help themselves, and they feel terribly guilty. It turns out, she said, the binging can come from low serotonin, and so they're, they're trying to get the foods that the, brings the tryptophan through the blood-brain barrier into the brain so that they can get an uptake of tryptophan. And she talked about even specific antisocial behaviors can come down to certain nutrient deficiencies. And GMOs and Roundup sprayed crops are deficient in nutrients. Dr. Mike McNeil talked about in his interview how he went into two different fields next to each other. GMO field, non-GMO field. Walked a certain number of rows, walked a certain number of corn down, plucked the corn, had them analyzed. I've seen the analysis. The amount of nutrients in the GMO field was ridiculously low. 20 times lower, 30 times lower, 40 times lower, and it had 200 parts per billion in formaldehyde, which is a breakdown product of Roundup. Dr. Zach Bush has amazing information in two interviews I, I did with him, and he talked about the, how Roundup creates gaps between the cells and the humans, which can create leaky gut, and how it can block the intercellular communication but he also told me something that I had never heard. He said the shikimate pathway not only produces the aromatic amino acids that produce the serotonin, dopamine, and melatonin, but it produces the body's own medicine chest to combat pain, inflammation, etc. And so we actually can have lots of diseases just from this one action by glyphosate, blocking the shikimate pathway by gut bacteria. So what we did is we looked at one mode of action of Roundup, and we saw that it can affect mood and behavior, it can affect pain, it can affect inflammation, just from the shikimate pathway. But it turns out it also depletes minerals. How many people know why, what the first patent was for glyphosate? Raise your hand. The first patent for glyphosate was to clean boilers and pipes. Because it's a chelator, it grabs onto all the minerals. So it would strip the mineral buildup 
in the pipes. And when they spread the residue on the ground, it killed all the plants. Now, it turns out this mineral deficiency is really serious. First of all, all the crops that are sprayed with Roundup, the Roundup Ready crops, ridiculously low minerals. And who eats the mineral, the mineral deficient crops? In addition to humans, all the livestock. So there is an epidemic, according to Art Dunham a, and others, other veterinarians that have actually tested the minerals and the organs of livestock. They're eating Roundup Ready crops as their primary source of food. In addition, they get tons of residues of glyphosate. And once it enters their bodies, what does it do? It grabs onto minerals. It hugs them tightly and doesn't let go. It cannot be used by the body. And the reason why minerals are important is that they're the key to the ignition in all of these functions in our body. There's all these metabolic pathways. And these metabolic pathways have a cofactor. And all the, all the workers are sitting around with their hard hats and they've got their lunch pails, and they're just waiting as if they're on strike. Because the mineral needs to enter the scene for them to go to work. And by blocking these trace minerals that are in small quantities in the body, by making them scarce, it shuts down all of these workers in the body. Dr. Lee Cowden was interviewed, and he teaches protocols to doctors on Lyme disease, on cancer, etc. He's a doctor's doctor. And he said that he has been testing minerals in the human population in the United States for years. And since GMOs were introduced, the amount of minerals is less and less and less and the needed minerals is more and more and more. So one of the ways to heal from GMOs and Roundup, in addition to providing the missing pieces from the shikimate pathway, is to provide the missing minerals. Because we're getting mineral deficient when we eat products that have been sprayed with Roundup. 